Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Vivian Sharon, real estate broker with Sotheby's International Realty Canada. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make homemade granola. And if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please subscribe. And if you want to learn more about living in Toronto, its vibrant neighborhoods, downsizing or upsizing tips, or just anywhere, living anywhere in the world, Toronto, in Canada, or anywhere, this is the channel to watch. I want to show you how I make homemade granola, but before we start, I don't want to get all messy, so I'm going to take out my apron. So here we go. So you have a large dish and all these ingredients. So let's take a look at the ingredients. You don't have to be perfect with the measurements, but this is basically what you need. This is approximately two cups of walnuts that I sort whole walnuts and I made them a little bit smaller. So two cups of walnuts. This is a smaller bowl, so it's approximately one cup of pumpkin seeds. About one cup of sunflower seeds. These are all raw. One cup unsweetened coconut. About one cup of oatmeal. One cup of raw sesame seeds. Chia, about two tablespoons of chia. You could add a little bit more if you like. This is all somewhat approximate. Two cups of raw almonds. Okay, so now I'm going to stir it all up in a really big bowl. And you really have to know that you can't mess this up. It is so easy and you get so much afterwards because at the end you're going to see how much this makes. It can last you well over a month or more. So now we're going to add some of the other ingredients. We have here about two tablespoons of cinnamon. But I'll be honest, I really love cinnamon. So I'm going to add more cinnamon. I really sort of wing it at this point. I've made this so many times, so I sort of know what I like. So I'm adding more. I may even add more cinnamon in a few moments. I'll just see how it looks. Okay, I'll add a touch more, and then we're gonna add some more ingredients. So you see, I love, you don't have to add so much cinnamon. Now I have here um, a half a cup of pure maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup. I probably am going to add more. The recipe, which I have here, calls for this amount, which is a half a cup of maple syrup, which adds the sweetness and the liquid but I think it's not enough because it just doesn't seem to have the right consistency. So I'm going to add some more wonderful natural syrup, maple syrup. Really good quality, which is important. And it gets a little more wet this way, which is perfect, which is perfect. And then I'm going to add some olive oil going to add this one because it's got a little less in it and I might finish it. So here, sprinkle. No specific amount. Just to make it a little more liquid. You've got the sweetener. It's almost done here. The sweetener, the sweet feeling from, from the syrup and then you add moisture and, and, and also you know how very healthy it is to have olive oil on our food or in our food. This is looking really, really good. So there's one thing that I'm gonna add before we're ready to pop it in the oven. And this is coarse salt or sea salt. Believe it or not, the sea salt adds so much to the flavor against the olive oil and the sweetness of the syrup. And I'm just going like this a whole bunch of times. And then I'm going to do this again. And we're gonna do one more little run of, of salt. 
a couple of twists like this. And we're just about done, actually. Let's see if there's anything else I want to add. Maybe a touch more cinnamon, but that's me, right? And we're almost ready to put it in the container, in the dishes to put it in the oven, in the tin foil. That's how I do it. I think we're ready to go. Okay, so let's put all of these things away and I'll show you what happens next. And actually, I finished up all, so it's really a number of sprinkles of olive oil, maybe one to two tablespoons at the most. I didn't even measure it, as you saw. So you see the consistency? The consistency is quite moist and sweet, and also you've got the contrast with the salt and the cinnamon. So now, this might make two or three portions to bake in the oven for at least 40 minutes. You have to put it on a timer, which is what I do. I time it and I check it. It should be golden brown, but not burnt. You really have to watch that it doesn't burn. So I have given this recipe just like this to my friends. Actually, yesterday I went to visit a friend and she said, Vivian, I did your recipe. I copied this recipe, which I emailed to her. And she showed me that she has a huge container and every morning for breakfast with their fruit and their yogurt, just like me, that's my breakfast. She has the granola. So that's really exciting. So you want to put it here so that it's not too, too full because it has to bake all around. So I would do two containers or three depending. So here you go. And it'll pop in the oven in a few moments. This is a bit full. I might spread it to the next one so it all gets even. You don't want to burn it, that's all. So there you go, there you go. And I'll do one more. So you see, this is going to last you a long time in your pantry once you're complete. So you see, look at I am emptying the whole thing out. You got the sesame seeds that got stuck a little at the bottom. And this makes three small aluminum pans in the oven. I'll just go like this, clean it up. It really even tastes great when you, if you go like this raw and try it, it's delicious. I like it, but it's of course better cooked. So here you go. You have three of them. And now I'm popping it in the oven. That's it, that's it. That's it. And I'm gonna put it in the oven right now. And follow me to the oven. I'm gonna put it on this tray. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on four, on, sorry, on 300. 300, not more, because it will burn. 300, and you cook it for at least 40 minutes, if not longer, if you like it a little more toasty. And we're gonna come back in about 40 minutes, and we'll take a look at it, and I'll show you the end product. So I've just taken the granola out of the oven in these three pans. They cooked, cooked for about 40 minutes. Even I added another five minutes to make it a little bit more baked. And now you have to let it cool. You have to let it cool maybe for a couple of hours or even overnight because, uh, and I've turned it around. In the middle of the cooking process, about 25 minutes in, I, I went like this so it wouldn't all stick together. All three pans, and now they're going to cool. So this is uh, the homemade granola that I absolutely love. Very, very healthy. This is from a previous batch. This is what it looks like. It's cooled and you can keep it in the fridge in a container of any sort like this. And this will take about three of these or four containers and it'll last a month or two. So what could be bad? It's very healthy, very crunchy, very delicious. And the great part is your whole place will smell like you've baked apple pie. An apple pie or crumble or baked apple. It smells so wonderful for at least 24 hours after. So that's the beauty of it. So I hope you enjoyed this show and you enjoyed this first video that I've done, which is cooking with Vivian. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell and then you'll be notified of any future videos that I do. And you connect with me on social media in the description below. You can click the link. 
So it's been really a lot of fun being with you today. And don't just look for a place, discover a home. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.